Hello YouTube, we're going to really quickly do a LCD change for the S3 here. Uh, this is an unlock set I use. Um, this HTC 816 is with Virgin Mobile. But I travel for work and uh, I have to have an unlock phone with me. This is out of warranty but I really need the screen back on so I can take out all my data and text and whatnot. So I, I purchased um, an LCD replacement from eBay and for 80 bucks uh, it's listed as new but I'm assuming it's refurbished or whatever let me quickly show you how to install it it's really simple so firstly take off the the back cover more gently than that but get the smallest fill up you have and that should be able to open all of these so just follow these eight um, you have one on top here two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll lay them out somewhere. Be careful with them, it's, they're really small. So, um, let's see here. Use one of the armor covers. And, and there you go. Well, most of it anyways so I was using a different handset for demonstrations yes you might notice that this portions changed magically but uh, finally got all of them out as you can see the right here and yeah, to remove the memory card uh, so cut that out of the way. So what you're gonna do is gently pull this portion here and you can see the back just separates really easy. So just be careful, be patient, don't rush things and end up breaking something. Actually those two screws come off too. Alright, so you're gonna take all ten screws out. Uh, so these two screws do come off and once you do remove it so you'll have a total of ten screws taken off, okay? Uh, and this portion will then piece of cake just comes off and everything here is just basically clip on so it's very simple so, so this top portion is connected with a clip and you'll basically put your, use your fingernail and it just unhooks alright it's really simple and if you want to put it back on again, you just press it down and you hear, you'll feel like a little clicking noise and that's it. So, again, fingernail, then comes off. There's another one here, it's like orange-ish. That's two. Third clip is here, this big portion here. Use your fingernail again. Unhook. Alright. And I believe there's another one. This bluish color, top portion here. Use your thumb. There we go. Okay. So you'll have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. All right. So this. And this bit here, you'll see like a little cable coming down. Um, there we go. Simple. So just be patient. Gently take everything off. So. Alright, so we're going to end up taking this part off. And then the motherboard gets separated. There's one more screw which you have to unscrew basically. It's this one here. You'll need the same fill up again. And this is the only screw that's attaching the motherboard to the digitizer. So once you unscrew this, the whole portion is going to separate. So let me do that real quick. This is screw number 11. Okay, so I just took that screw off. Again, this was right here. This is the only screw there. So Alright, so just lift this top portion 
and it'll separate. So the only thing that was holding this portion to the motherboard was this clip on and the top screw on the right corner. There. Okay. As simple as that. So this comes off. And that's the portion I'm trying to save for all the data that's in there. So and this bit is gonna get replaced with the new one. So and the new one's here. So putting everything back together, okay, just simple this follow the same steps in reverse. Um, again, place your motherboard first. Align the camera into the little camera hole. Um, you need to pull this out. There we go. So. There we go. So, a little black portion goes underneath, and the clip stays on top. Everything should fall in place like before. Now, going back to the clipping again. So, click number one, click two. and the fourth one is actually attached to the top portion with the, the speaker itself so if you put this back in place you'll hear like a little click on the top portion camera sits in the little square portion and the speaker component gets clicked back up so neat and clean so one two three all of them back on again this little cable that's coming off I don't know how clear you can see it but there's a small part here that this top bit attaches to so what you do is just place it on top of it and just press down gently there we go You'll hear the little click. It's on. And now this goes back into this little outline. You can use a flat head and just pop this back into place. That's neat and clean. And it doesn't have to be perfect because once you close the lid up, everything's going to not be visible anymore anyways but uh, there we go that's it so the reason I didn't screw everything back up first or oh, I mean the only screw that's here because you want to make sure everything's aligned and clicks back in place and once all of that's taken care of you can then screw this one and the only screw here so I'll need both hands so gently screwing that in and make sure do not get a torque wrench and do 40 pounds of pressure on it okay. so be very gentle as soon as you can't screw any further stop okay don't even take a chance so all right so that screws back up before I put the cover back on uh, I'm just gonna test it real quick make sure everything's on and running so just put the battery back in place Side. All right. So hold the battery and press the power button down. Okay. So it works. Perfect. Not bad, right? So I'm gonna take the battery out again. And this cover should fall just back in place. Um, 
so once everything's back in place, I mean, obviously it's not going to press down on its own. You need to pull all these screws back in. So let me do that one by one. All right, so I think the most annoying part of the whole project was these 10 screws, okay? But I finally got them put them back in, and the rest is just, you know, putting the battery in and turning it on again. Again, let me know what you guys think, and hope you guys enjoyed this quick DIY video. Until next later.